Hello everyone on YouTube and welcome to a new 3D article tutorial and sorry I have some issues with my headphones headset headphones okay whatever so um, we want to learn today how to create uh, this uh, cubes um, effect I've showed you already if you've seen or not um, on my uh, Facebook page okay by the way if you don't know already I have a Facebook fan page which you can stay updated there and see any other tutorials that uh, have been posted um, by the way I'm thinking of changing some uh, strategy um, I've noticed that many people are subscribed to my channel on my on YouTube and after this tutorial, I will start uh, posting uh, something like private links of my tutorials just in order to force you come into my Facebook fan page. So <clears throat> I hope you uh, evaluate this some way, like, you know, consider this as uh, a must thing to do because otherwise uh, probably won't see any other more tutorials that are coming out and yes there is a, a very uh, I think this is very crucial for me I need your feedback uh, as much as you need those tutorials and I'm doing my best to give you new tutorials which you probably won't find anywhere else and believe me most of them are uh, my own knowledge, my own experience with Maya and um, Photoshop or whatever I'm doing and for me it's like it's worth a lot and I want to give it the same respect as uh, I feel to give it so just give me some uh, credit for this uh, and sign into the Facebook fan page you can meet also other people there and maybe uh, you know cooperate together or do whatever things you do and mostly uh, just showing your feedback okay um, okay let's not talk about it anymore so what we are going to learn is going to be this thing we are going to create those cubes and this metal effect we have here which I've already gave it a name um, golden sky which I think it's fits this okay so um, this is pretty much it uh, we will also learn how to create uh, the red version of this which is this but not in that high quality for sure it's a very short sequence but you get the point right great so we can start this is what we are going to do this is our goal and I want to keep it simple as that and I already tried to make this tutorial once and it went pretty bad because uh, I tried to do <laughs> I tried to do some uh, very massive uh, um, modeling uh, and it went pretty bad so I will try to uh, lower down my uh, expectation for Maya because Maya is like lagging a, l a lot so <clears throat> here we are in Maya and I want you to go over file project window here give a name click new give a name to your project we will we shall call it cubes okay and click accept after this you go over file set project and you already will be in your user ohm whatever documents just pay attention pay attention for documents which uh, by default this is the folder for windows and for mac users and maya projects and we have the cubes folder we have just created click on cubes and choose set that means that from now on everything you do and save will still uh, be saved in this folder 
so it will stay organized and you won't lose anything or start searching for it okay so um, as always I'm doing shading smooth wireframe just to see those wireframes and all the wireframes in the scene smoothly uh, smoother and then go over window choose setting preferences plugin manager and we want to make sure that uh, Maya 2MR plugin is launched okay so I'm scrolling down by default it's here for me I don't know I don't know where it will be for you but um, <clears throat> make sure you search for Maya 2MR dot bundle and you ticked both of those boxes okay the first box mean load it right now auto load it's for whenever you start Maya okay it will launch automatically choose close by the way uh, Maya 2MR bundle it's the mental ray engine and everything related to it and um, some people like thinking that hey man how do I get Maya uh, mental ray uh, where do I download it if you have Maya it's already in okay and you just need to launch it so this is how you do this click close I want to go through the render setting before we can, con can continue with this tutorial I want you to go over render using choose from this expanded menu choose mental ray you will see mental ray here in this list only if you did the first step okay just so you will know now the next thing is to choose the preset the preset will be uh, just for the tutorial HD 720 but it's HD okay HD 720 and quality we go over max sample level of 3 which is very high okay uh, we also go over uh, from frame buffer and I want you to switch this from RGBA uh, byte okay 4 by 8 bit to 4 by 32 but this is what you need RGBA float 4 by 83 uh, 32 bit okay now uh, back here um, you may want to choose box or Mitchell Mitchell is the highest no oh, maybe Lazenko Lan Kezos it's the higher but just pick or Mitchell or stay with the box so it won't be that heavy and <clears throat> from here we don't need anything okay this is how it goes close it and go over create polygon and I want to make sure that the interactive creation is not checked you see a V sign over exit on completion so if I will click on interactive creation there will be a sign here okay I don't want this so if you have a V sign next to it make sure you click on it sorry create polygon primitives just make sure you click on it so this V sign won't be here and we can continue switch to the polygons here choose polygons from here and click on this cube here okay now you will see this cube empty cube press 5 so you will see a shader a gray shader on top of it okay now we are seeing something and when you select the cube click on control hold down control and click uh, tap on A button at the same time so you will get to see the attribute editor it will open up maybe by uh, automatically but if it doesn't so do, do what I've just said and you will see the attribute editor now switch to this uh, polycube 1 menu and if by mistake you don't see this menu okay this polycube tab and all those polycube history that means your um, construction history is turned off okay so turn it on back okay and then create a new cube delete this cube create a new cube and then you will see those sliders now I want you to add subdivision with 8 okay and subdivision height 8 and subdivision the path 8 okay so you will have um, 
all those um, lines in between those on the, on top of those faces. Now press three to smooth preview it, and then you will get a cube just like uh, we had in this uh, sequence uh, video we just I just show you at the start of this tutorial, at the beginning of this tutorial. So we want to catch, grab this, and click the scale tool and I want to scale this to about so. Now I want you to switch to the move tool here. You can do this by tapping on W. Now if you don't get the move tool by pressing W that means that your language, your operating system language is set to something else than English. Okay? So make sure it's on English. Okay? And now hold down the shift and choose D, okay? Shift D. We have Control D, which is duplicating, okay? But if I will click on Control D again, okay? So it's just duplicating the same item, nothing special. But I will undo this, okay? So here we are at the start point where we have only this cube, and if you will, instead of holding control you will hold down shift and press D you will create a duplicated item move it to the side just like that position it so you will have some room in between them and then hold down the shift and press D again so it will start building in the same direction that you move the the cube it will just duplicate and move it to the same position so that way you will have a long, if you will continue, hold down and press, hold down the shift and press D, you will have plenty of cubes with the same distance in between. We can get rid of the uh, first ones, but no, no need to do, to do this. Okay? So, shift D, duplicating the objects and move them as you move them for the start, okay? So you need to move them manually for the first time, so it will understand what you uh, want from this. Okay, so now I'm bringing those uh, this row of cubes over here, trying to position it in the middle, place it in the middle like so, and then I will again hold down the shift, press D at the same time, create a duplicating duplicated row of cubes and move it and position it like so and then after you placed it shift D and it will do this a few times and it will create a nice surface of cubes you see that's simple and uh, it's very nice right um, sorry shift D <laughs> Okay, so I don't want to make more because this is very heavy for Maya. Just pick them all together, go over edit, delete by type, history, trying to delete whatever there is uh, for those cubes. And what do we want to do from here is <clears throat> select the background, so they will, this will unselect all the rest and we want to open the outliner this is the icon for the outliner here okay now click on it it will open the outliner and you can see we have all those nice this nice list of cubes so we actually have in the scene right now 324 cubes okay it's a lot cubes Ma many cubes okay now you don't want to have plenty of them okay it's too much and sometimes if your computer is uh, old computer and you don't want to try to do more than this okay just too much uh, but we do want to get the uh, this effect and we do want to create the whatever we want to create with this and if you need more try to do this in uh, smart ways okay like divide it to layers create this, copy all these surfaces together, all these cubes together, 
and hide them in uh, separated layers and then follow uh, the layers each uh, one by one and do what I'm going to do right now from now on okay so I want to pick um, all down the shift and pick some of the cubes here just like so nothing complicated okay just pick them Dun, dun. Okay, and when you think it's uh, enough, I'm going. We are going to go over general tab over here and choose group them. Okay, so this will be group number one, and it will be added after all those cubes. You see, this is the cubes list, and this is group number one. Okay, so now I want you to control age, uh, choose choose this group. Okay, so I had some posing here. Uh, I had to pose the this tutorial, but let's continue. So as I told you, choose the group and control age to hide it. Okay, control age, and this will hide those cubes. This group actually. Now I want you to continue and choose other cubes, okay? Shift and select any cubes you like, just like so. Hold down the shift, meanwhile you're selecting, so it will select them all at once. Okay, great. Try to choose more because this will be like the last time that you are going to select anything here so make sure you're selecting them uh, lots of them okay because whatever will remain here this will be <coughs> the group number three which will um, pretty much uh, close this uh, selection uh, part of the tutorial okay so <clears throat> we select them and we are going to choose group them so we have a second group here group number two and control H to hide it okay you can select them from here but they are hiding right now those two now we have this group and you want to select all of them together at once and group them with this okay so now we grouped all the cubes into three groups and there is no list here and <clears throat> what you can do right now you can reveal them by choosing group number one and shift select group number two and shift age to reveal those two groups okay now select somewhere here and then choose group number one <clears throat> from here uh, this is the timeline you want to add instead of 24 frames you want to place in 200 frames okay and <clears throat> then you want to choose everything here in the scene okay just like so all these cubes right click and choose assign favorite material bling okay now the bling can stay the same as it is okay you don't need to do any modification to it but if you feel like uh, I suggest only the reflectivity a little bit down maybe the specular a little bit down specular color and mental ray scroll down to MI reflection blur and choose and press 2 inside this box okay so that's fine and <clears throat> then I want you to choose group number one and we will start animate this okay animate this uh, part okay so you choose the group number one and you make sure you did put 200 frames here in this box okay the left one and you want to 
rewind this first and then make sure you chose um, frame number one <coughs> so click on one okay so one will be marked in gray highlighted uh, mark and you want to press S uh, tap on the letter S on your keyboard so this will create um, this should create but it doesn't um, oh this is because I'm here okay I don't need to be here I need to press on group and then S and it will mark a red mark over the frame number one so also the attribute editor is open and you can see everything here turns into red but we don't need the attribute editor so click here just to see the uh, channel box okay this this is going to help us right now so what I want you to do is to skip to frame number 50 press here on 50 and I want you to bring all those cubes from this view bring them up here like so and when it's somewhere here you see above just at the same level I suppose like so I want you to press S again so it will create a keyframe for the uh, frame number 50 and then I want you to scroll or just click on frame number 100 and then I want those cubes to brought back to the same start position so it's really easy to do this because we only uh, move them in the y direction okay the, so what you do is you click here on translate y and you press 0 you type in 0 and enter okay so it will bring them back here and press s to keyframe it okay now if it doesn't create framing just make sure you select group one and then press the S key so what we've done until now it's actually we will rewind this and let's see play this and you can see by frame 50 it's up and 100 it's down again okay so select group number one and skip to frame 150 Okay, and now we want them to be brought down so move them down by the way if you didn't understand you first choose the frame that they, you want them to be uh, you want you like you want to keyframe and then you move them like where you want them to be in this frame so you move them and then press S to keyframe it so now they will be here in, in this position in frame number 150 okay now let's skip to two, uh, frame 200 and then we will use again the translate y type in 0 so we want them to brought again to the uh, beginning position start position so type in 0 enter and again choose group 1 here and press s to keyframe it okay so now we have this sequence. I will rewind this and play it. Okay, 50 it's up, 100 it's at the start position, 150 down, 200 start position again. And it's repeating itself. Okay, escape to stop this. You can press stop, but it's better to press escape and rewind this. Now I want you to choose um, group 2. Now, in group 2, press um, S, okay, to keyframe it in frame number 1, move to 50. Now, in 50, you see all the green ones, it's group, group 2. All the rest is group 1, which starting to move up. Now, while those moving up, we want group 2 to move down. So, we choose frame 50 and re bringing them down like so just like that and press S to keyframe it now we want to jump to frame number 100 
and then we want them to be at the same position as those, the rest. So translate y, we will use this, 0, and they will brought back to this position. Just pick group 2 this time and press S to keyframe it. Now we will go over frame 150 and you can see that group 1 is already down there and what you need to do is pull those to be up there and when you think it's okay you can just press S to keyframe it and then skip to frame number 200 go over translate Y choose 0 uh, type in 0 enter click on group 2 again and S to keyframe it now we don't want to animate group 3 we want to, them to stay at the same position so this is what we came up with okay I will rewind this and play this okay so we have those cubes moving like an engine okay this is pretty much it it's supposed to be very easy so if you didn't understand try to rewind the tutorial and do it all over again by the way make sure you uh, at the beginning uh, before you animate them save it one time make a copy or something and then start to uh, continue to follow this tutorial now uh, the next thing we want to create a camera so create camera and pull the camera up here okay it's okay here now while the camera is selected choose panels and look through selected so now we are inside the camera and we see only what the camera sees so you need to move just like you're moving in the work area and holding the alt and with the left mouse key and rotate the camera to some starting position okay so let's say I wanna be here okay now as you remember I chose to uh, for the preset I chose 7 HD 720 so I'm just showing you this so you won't get confused we choose HD 720 for the preset I close it now here uh, we have the resolution gate if I will apply it just like so you can see um, what the camera sees and what will be rendered out now uh, whatever I did with my uh, with my uh, sequence I just made some more coverage for these cubes I made a lot more cubes and animate them and I did it only because I didn't want to have any uh, backgrounds uh, you know parts in my um, in my sequence JPEG okay JPEG sequence so basically if you want to made more make more uh, feel free to do this so uh, if you have strong computer um, powerful computer so feel free to do so and if you have uh, something that is like core to do or whatever computer don't try attempt uh, doing so okay uh, Maya won't, won't stand a chance and she will crash probably so whatever um, let's take um, let's position the camera just like so and now we want to make sure something. Let's choose panels, perspective, and press back. So this is the perspective view, and you can see the camera is pointing to the surface. And we want to make sure the camera is selected. So you can do it like so, but it's easier just to pick the camera from the from the outliner, and then go over panels, look through selected. This is what the camera sees, and choose camera just to make sure we selected the camera now we are doing so because we are going to animate the camera 
So camera and then frame number one, we want the camera to be in this position. Press S to keyframe the camera here. So this is actually like uh, a bookmark for uh, the camera. It's not the same as bookmark, but it can be used as a bookmark. Now you want to uh, go over frame number 50 where the cube is starting to moving, you see, and you want to just a little bit rotate the camera like so. And don't do any, uh, you know, uh, very complicated moves. Uh, just a little bit twist and so you can see the surface like that and press S to keyframe it. Now you want to choose 100, frame 100, and I want you to start move to the surface, just like so, and try to, uh, you know, align the camera to the surface. Just like so, and maybe add some, uh, you know, inside move, like your gliding on the surface okay and press S so it's really, it's really not much of a move you can see what I've done if I will rewind this what I've done is just starting from this point going over through this point and then start to gliding into the surface like so <clears throat> okay and now you want to skip to 150 and you want to start to move the camera just a little bit up so you won't stuck on one of those uh, cubes and then again not much moves just a little bit and start gliding above those so in 150 you will be somewhere here and press S to keyframe it and then skip to frame 200 where those cubes already down but they they are like down only in frame number 200 so you need to stay at the same level here so we're continuing moving forward just like so and press S when you see nothing okay so let's oh and press s to <laughs> by the way press s to keyframe it. and let's rewind this and see what we've got like so i'm gliding over those cubes and that's it okay now what we've left to do is click on the display render setting go over the render setting first um because we already used the uh, HD 720, we don't want to move this from there because we set the camera movement uh, following uh, this resolution gate, okay? So uh, don't try to change it, okay? You can do this, but you will, leave, you will be left with a lot of background of, uh, in the sides of this uh, surface, okay? And also... Um, what you want to do, you want to go top to the top of the common tab, okay? Here you want to choose a name, okay? So let's choose to use cubes, cubes1, okay? Uh, you can choose cubes1, but not. Don't do this. Just remember that you can choose this, okay? Now, you want to choose from the image format um, JPEG, okay? JPEG, it's very high quality, by the way, if you think that it's not, so think again, JPEG, it's very high quality, and the next thing, um, just another thing about the JPEG, if you will try to render out PNG, it will last forever, or whatever, okay? Don't try to do any other extension, keep with the JPEG, we are trying to do something simple here, not to uh, stretch the time 
we don't have okay so jpeg and for the frame animation ext we choose name number ext and i will explain what does it mean name it's the name it's the cubes okay number it's the hierarchy that maya will generate for each frame that she's going to render extension is the jpeg okay so this sign here in the middle of the name and the X, it's number. So Maya will create uh, file number cubes one extension JPEG name uh, cubes number two extension JPEG. Okay, and here from the frame range, we want to make sure this start frame is on one, and the end frame is. 200 okay just like so and hit enter okay and the last thing which is the most important thing because we used a camera in our scene and we animated there we want to see what the camera sees so from renderable uh, renderable camera choose camera one okay we have only one camera, actual, actually, actual camera, which is this camera, and it's named by camera one. So make sure you chose it, okay? And choose close. Don't do anything else beside that. By the way, save this file, okay? Save scene. And I will save it as cubes. Make sure you do this uh, in the middle of the tutorial, not just now, okay? You may lose things and now um, I'm still inside the camera panels perspective so I just want to so sh show you from the perspective view what's going on with the camera so the camera I will play this and you can see the camera move and then going over here and going forwards over there this is pretty much it. You don't need to add m more than this. Um, you can do whatever you like, of course. Just use the same methods. Make sure you, if you had more, if you want this uh, sequence to be much longer, add more frames and uh, at the same time animate those uh, cubes to frame number 300. Okay. And that's pretty much it. What you need to do is go over polygons here or this menu here, choose rendering, choose render and batch render. Okay? When you click this, uh, Maya will start the f the operation to do so. Now I want to explain two things. So I will will click on this and this will this will pop out this uh, batch rendering application. Okay? and down here in Maya you will see result rendering with mental ray now the process is starting but uh, before you do so it's actually good to be in the panel look through selected be inside our camera and just uh, see uh, you know take a sample of the quality of our picture so I'm now like uh, Rendering, rendering this uh, frame, okay, only this frame. Meanwhile, Maya started to batch rendering, by the way. But just for this frame, I want to see the quality of those cubes. And it looks pretty much good. Uh, nothing, you don't need any else things here. Okay, it looks good. Uh, I can close this and let Maya keep rendering the sequence, okay? Now, Maya is starting and everything is okay. Now you can choose file and Maya quit Maya. Okay. No, I don't want to save it. It's already been saved. Now you see Maya and the batch render process has been shut down. But I want to go. I'm going to tell you a little secret here. Um, inside Mac, you can use the activity monitor to see this and in Windows you need the task manager the easiest way to open task manager using Windows is control shift and escape together by the way this is if you didn't know this 
this will help you a lot control shift escape instead of control alt delete which been in earlier uh, windows versions okay because control alt delete in windows 7 and uh, windows 8 will bring you to the logout uh, menu first or something like that so just press control shift escape and you will see the task manager now inside the task manager if I will scroll down here scroll up or down up you can see that Maya batch rendering is still turned on and it's actually rendering so even if you think that inside Maya you chose to click cancel um, render batch render by the way where is uh, inside Maya where we clicked the batch rendering function uh, down below you will see cancel batch rendering and this function is like uh, not working <laughs> for a couple of versions of Maya so Maya batch render will always be turned on and if by mistake you asking yourself what's going on with my computer it's very slow something is wrong Maya is still trying to render out your pictures and that's something you need to remember now I will click on Maya batch and quit this process because I don't need those pictures right now okay so I'm forcing it to quit and that way you can see the processes here just start to slow down and you will see blacks and not greens and red okay so um, basically that means that Maya did actually uh, stopped batch render okay and I can close the activity monitor right now and let's jump into Photoshop now I already have uh, my sequence inside this folder here and you're supposed to be somewhere on your document so you navigate to documents Maya and projects and cubes and images so here are the three pictures that Maya already started to render so I can open one of them just to watch them okay this is pretty much it um, I encourage you to choose the Mitchell okay don't use the box the Mitchell will look better on this uh, okay and this is where the sequence images are okay um, make sure you uh, see 200 here if you've done a 200 make sure you see 200 uh, pictures scroll down if you need and just to make sure where they are if you use the default uh, so it will be in the default images and if you use any other project it always will have to be in the images unless you change something so I have a few other things here but mainly this is what we are going to use this folder which I moved it uh, manually over the desktop so here are 200 frames of those cubes and what I want to do here I want to launch uh, Photoshop okay and here what I want to do is go over file open choose my cubes uh, folder on the desktop okay and choose frame number one remember when we uh, talked about the um, name number extension this is what is it cubes it's the name one number JPEG extension and the hierarchy hierarchy for this okay so the hierarchy is until 200 and we only need to choose oops something went wrong we only need to choose the first file cubes one and make sure image sequence is ticked by default it will be ticked and if it's not tick this and choose open and here you want to choose 29 point uh, let me first check something here yeah no we wanna 
Let's keep it on 30. It will be on 30, but just make sure it's on 30, okay? Now, here is the timeline and our animation, okay? This is how it looks. And you can scroll the slider on the timeline and see your sequence, or you can just hit play and see it, okay? So this is a different sequence, but this is how it should look like. Now, the thing is going to be very simple from here. In order to create the golden sky effect, which I named it as it is, uh, golden sky effect, all you need to do, you need to go over uh, the web, okay? So... You go over your browser, and for me, I'm just going over here. I have a JPEG of HDR uh, files, okay? Here they are. These are the files. So, basically, we are going to create this metal look effect using the same method as IBL inside Maya. If you don't know what this is, the IBL, it's the image-based lightning it's the this s sphere we're using to apply HDRI map but this time we're applying actual picture which is HDRI okay to this Photoshop okay so I will leave Photoshop here at the side and grab this uh, one of those pictures here and place it over on top of my scene here Okay, so I will stretch it so it will fit to here and click apply. Now the picture is here, okay, and what you want to do is you want to uh, you want to bring it up above, like so. Okay, and you want to choose right click on it and choose wrist resize wrist, wrist layer okay and then what you can do is place sorry you wanna choose blending options for it and you wanna choose difference and choose OK and move it Houston we have a problem delete don't do it that way what you need to do is go file open choose whatever HDRI uh, picture you have so cloud this cloud maybe this one choose open okay and then you want it will be open in different layer so choose select all edit copy switch to this sequence we add in this layer choose edit and paste now um something is very weird here not sure what is it, but something is very acting very weird right now. Um, maybe like so. Why we have two video groups? Maybe this is the reason for this. Maybe we need to switch this. Okay, okay, okay. So now uh, we had two video groups. I'm not sure what's the reason for that, but we need to have only this in separated layer or like separated uh, from the video group. Okay. It can be above, but not underneath the inside this video group uh, folder and you want to change the blend mode to difference and this is how you do so 
you just stretch the picture along so it will fit the same uh, time of our sequence and this is how you get the golden sky look okay it's very beautiful I think um, I really found it by mistake and it's not very hard to find things when you you do use uh, blending mode you can find all kind of different looks to it and most of them will look pretty much beautiful okay so just try explore them and see whatever fits your need because this actual tutorial will show you supposed to show you uh, different methods on how to create any footages uh, which are you know just for you uh, things like original materials that you don't need to buy from any other source and use those as uh, your footages or effects or whatever okay so I believe it was easy uh, the last thing I wanna uh, make sure you know how to do is how to uh, create this in red so this is very easy what you need to do is go over image adjustment choose HU saturation and you can use any other but just for the red uh, okay don't do this in CS6 you can just press here okay the AGU situation it will create a new layer and you wanna click on this icon here which is uh, even uh, you know circle and just wanna click on colorize and choose a red from the color and the amount of red and the brightness so here we go this is how you have a red metal kind of look um, it's better to have it under the layer okay Maybe like that. No. Should be back here. Okay, never mind. This is pretty much it. Uh, nothing more or less. The just maybe make it darker and then it will uh, yeah darken just a little bit darker and there you go you have the red kind of look metal see so it's all uh, just because of the HDRI and also because of the reflectivity of the blend material this is what uh, gives us this effect and probably will uh, give you less less time on order to uh, you know uh, render those uh, materials in uh, Maya okay uh, it saves time it's time consuming to render things from Maya and using the AGU, uh, AGUE saturation uh, plugin it's one of the smarter things to do uh, if you want to change uh, things quickly and add different results um, as you can see um, it's just only 200 frames but uh, if you save it as a PSD file you can always get back to it and do the modifications you need uh, and apply to some other video that you will use okay people I hope that was um, easy tutorial and it was uh, informative in some ways and if you enjoy this uh, please make sure you like the video I don't wanna come over your place and force you to do this so please <laughs> um, just like the video uh, show your feedback and that will uh, promise me not to go 
somewhere else and publish my videos over there. So um, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoy. Share it. Uh, leave a comment. Like something. Show you are alive. Show you are not robots. And as usual, we'll see you at the next tutorial. Whatever the subject will be, I don't know. Uh, it takes time to think about new ideas to make tutorials about, but um, sub suggestions are always welcome. If I can do this, I will do. If not, uh, what can I say? <laughs> so, have a nice day. See you.